welcome to Towson University Golf's putting indoor golf facility that we recently opened in November of 2014. We've had four, five good months of solid practice in this facility due to the weather that we've had recently with the snow. We've definitely used this facility more um, this winter and plan to continue to do so. So welcome to our tour. Here, Abby is um, demonstrating some lag putting uh, exercises that we do as a team. Generally, on a putting green, we'll work from anything outside 15 feet, so 15 to 35 feet. Um, we're able to do this in this facility because of um, the racquetball court size putting area that we have, and this really helps with your lag putting once you get out to the golf course. So another exercise that we do um, generally is our five footers. Um, these are really important, obviously, clutch putts we want to make, uh, especially if we're getting up and down and we leave ourselves five, six footer. Um, also, if we have a birdie try and it's within 10 feet, these are um, areas where we really want to execute uh, to get better as a team. So another option that we have in the facility is the mirrors that we have. Um, they're a great asset to any part of your game, obviously being able to see your swing, your movement, your hinge, the top of your swing, um, how you're coming down into the shot, and your finish is important. Um, it's a visual thing, and it's uh, great that we have the space to be able to do this here. So another thing that we do at practice, especially when we're outdoors, um, is practice our balance and how we feel. Um, balance, flexibility, core strength is really important in golf. Uh, this is an exercise that we've done, especially with chipping, where we stand on the, the ball here and we have to balance ourselves on it and actually hit a golf shot or a chip shot. A lot of times we end practice with around the world. It's a great putting drill to do if you have two, three, four, five, even six people. Um, it puts the pressure on, especially when you have up to six people and everybody has to make a putt from a certain tee. So Vivica and Larissa are demonstrating and they'll do that till they get all the way around and once everybody makes it from the first level, they'll then move back to the next tee, which this one is a five footer. So everybody will have to make the five footer as they move around the world. So that's how we end a practice at Towson University Golf, an average day at practice with us. It would have been tough to practice and be ready for our first tournament, but having built an indoor facility, which allows us to both putt and hit balls, um, the guys have a, a really good chance of, of being ready for that tournament. So what we've done is we've put in two hitting bays, uh, one which is working with the flight scope technology, um, which allows us to tell, tell the players how far they hit the ball. Uh, one of the common mistakes people make, um, golfers of all levels, both at the pro level, college level, and um, in high school and, and below, is they really do not know how far they hit each club. And what the flight scope technology allows us to do is when the ball is hit, the technology will measure how far the ball would go, uh, and then the player has a better idea what club to hit for the proper shot. We have two hitting bays here, which allows us to have two players you know, hitting balls at the same time. What the other one allows us to do is work on our ball flight. Uh, we had this net custom made at specific heights so that we would know you know, what a wedge would do, how high we could hit the wedge, um, and keep our ball flight down when we need to. So having the custom-made net allows us to know what clubs to hit to get the specific height we need. So while it seems like it's just a racquetball court with a rug, or a racquetball court with a net, there, there is much more to it than that. We were able to take all parts of the golf game, the putting, the chipping, you know, the driving, take it all and build it into you know, two rooms. Um, a lot of schools don't have this, um, but we do. And uh, we're gonna go forward with it. This actually, in, in the many years that I've been here, is the first place that the players have had a place of their own on campus. And when you come into these rooms and you see their golf bags around here, you see their clubs around here, um, you can see the pride that the players have that now, on campus, they have their own facility.